But when Paul became born again, and saw this kind of favor, and look at himself, and look at Jesus, and said, me, I don't deserve I am unworthy. I hated the cross. Paul said, I hated the cross. I persecuted those who preached the cross. In all this, he still loved me. He still liked me. So grace, it is not about who has received, but it's about the one who gives. From today, let no one condemn you. Let me tell you something. Our month of holiness, without holiness, you cannot see God. Without grace, you cannot walk in holiness. But when it comes to God to bless you, it has nothing to do about your worthiness. Listen to me, it has nothing to do. See, I am talking about grace. So those who sit down and they are being legalistic and look, that is why we are struggling as Christians. It is time as pastors to teach the truth. To teach you the truth. That he came. Not be, right. Will we qualify before he died for us? It is grace. So Paul said. It is by grace we are saved. If it is by works. Then there is no grace. So grace. The unmerited favor. You. That, so far it's like you. Oko, you hate me. Pa. You, anything I do about you, you don't like it. You are always undermining me. And it's not like I don't know. I know. That in all this, I step out of my own will. And, and I still bless you. And I still bless you. That is grace. And only I'm saying that is unmerited favor. Shout unmerited favor. Receive. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. But a caveat here, a warning. It does not mean that you should continue to sin. It does not mean that you should continue to fool about. Because the sovereignty is still in his hands. So that is why when we look at God said, I hated uh, uh, Esau. I love Jacob. It is not about what they have done. So, so think about that. It is not about what you have done. God is not 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 what you have done. It is not because of what you have done. It is about what he has done. What he has done. I, I know you have committed some sins in the past. Repent from that sin. Don't go back to the sin again. And pursue righteousness and holiness. The enemy will come back and play your past to you. Look at the enemy. Whom the Lord have justified. Is justified. He justified me. So don't allow the enemy. He is an accuser of brethren. Don't let the enemy accuse you. Of your sins of the past. Do you know, do you know the blood? No? It washes our past sins. It washes our present sins. And it washes our future sins. So for you and I, when we have come to Christ, we cannot continue to sin. Because grace is in abundance. The rest I will push it for.